Okay, I think we are about ready. Let me go ahead and make sure I have everything ready to go. Volume completely off on the TV. There's that. And the music ended. Of course it did. All right, let's go ahead and uh, adjust that just a little bit. All right. Let's get back to this. So let's see. Let's go ahead and start chapter 18. To avoid needless battle, the Ultian army decided to cross the central mountain range, said to be impassable for a large army. Once they passed Ardria Peak, they would be directly at Pe uh, Palis. Hurry, we can't let the enemy spot us. We must charge straight through. Marth and the others were anxious but they carried on, advancing across the narrow mountain road. But they didn't expect in the middle of the cliff to be ambushed by an unfathomable enemy. They were the northern kingdom of Arius's elite squad. The Wolf Squad, who had headed south to aid Arcanea. Do we know who the Wolf Squad is? or because I don't remember hearing this group. Mmm, lot here. Okay, let me take a look. A bunch of horsemen. We got paladins. Oh wait wait wait. Roshea. Look like you might be related to Cecile. Let's see. Oh, wait. Oh, it's Wolf. Okay. The Wolf Squadron. Okay. I see. So we got two characters here. Roshea and Wolf. Hmm. Oh, it's Sedgar. Okay. Violent. Okay. I recognize a good chunk of these. I think Rochea might be a new character though. What do we got over here? Silver, silver. We got stone ballista. We got two stone ballistas, that's good. Fortify, fortify. Silvers. Wait. There's no actual boss. The only named units are over here. And there's gotta be like a dragon in there or something. Okay, hold on. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna bring Paula as far as I'm aware. Uh, let me double check items. So I don't remember if I have everything. You don't need a cover on ya. Fina, Rhodey, you're fine. Cecile, you need one more level. Uh, Warp, Hammond, yeah, we'll, we'll keep that. We'll trade the Dragon Whip over to Pala. good here. Um, wait, okay, the Geosphere. We don't know what it does. The Star Sphere may supposedly still boost stack growths. I don't know. Uh, let's just... Let's just do this. Wolf! Sigurd! Violent! Is this really okay? Can we, can we really fight this battle? Shea, what are you trying to say? 
Look, the Altian army is marching along the narrow mountain road. Now's our only chance to defeat them. Yes, Roshea, we swore that we could sacrifice our lives. Th that we could sacrifice our lives for Lord Harden. Lord Harden was the one who freed us plains people from slavery. If we don't fight Altea now, Palis will fall. Do you want Lord Harden to be defeated by them? That's right. Prince Marth wants to destroy Arcanea and conquer the world. And that's why he joined forces with Maidon to crush Grost. And now he's even has Gra under his rule. If we don't do something, the whole world will fall under his control. I still don't believe it. I cannot believe Prince Marth would have such ambitions. Are you... What? Are you saying that Emperor Hardin lied? Do you think he would stoop to, uh, to such a low? Enough, Loche Rochea. You disappoint me. If you want to betray us, then go on ahead. Seger, Violent, let's go. If we're too slow, they will pass us. Hey, wait! I won't betray you. I understand. I'll go. So, Roshea is having second, uh, is having doubts. Wolf, Violent, and Sager, not really. Where's Marth? Uh, he's going to the village. He needs to go all the way that way. There's a good chunk of my units already on this side of the field. Hmm. I think we need to back out. We tried to deal with this. Sadly, Katria can only help so much. Uh. Okay, Ogma. I guess we'll just start. Start having you get put to work. This is a tricky map. I can already see that. Um, put Tiki here. Okay. That's good. Julian doesn't also need to be here from what I can see. Paula, I don't know. We're just gonna have to go here. Okay, Rody. What are we looking at? Your attack is 21. Send in the cavalry. Pretty much, yeah. How's it going, Hot Corn Dog? Uh, attack of 21. Defense of 12. Yeah. We just do something like this. Yeah, so we got... We're kind of surrounded on two sides. These are all just generals. A couple ballistas with Bethro stones. You're on lunch break. Ah, I see. Like, these are all generals. We got some healers here. We got stone ballistas. Up here, we have Violent, Wolf, Sedgur, and Roshea. Roshea is having doubts about fighting us, but the other three don't seem to really care. They seem to just listen to Harden. At, at least that's what it seems like. So for right now, my guess is Cecile, I think she needs to talk to Roshea. I don't know. I don't know about you, but they look related to me. Right now, I think I want Sheeta and Katria to get into the mountains. Hey, Juice, how's it going? We're on chapter 18 right now. How's it going on your end, Juice? Hey, Lind, why do you go here just to get rid of this guy? What's going on, Juice? Uh, we got Shima last chapter. 
it was hilarious that, uh, so the, the game says, like, leave all the Graw units alone, and I did that, but then I was allowed to get rid of all the Graw units after recruiting Shima, so, yeah, there was a slaughter afterwards. Uh, you have some time to chill today. A busy start this week. Ah, I see. Yeah, um, I accidentally read online something about how the Star Sphere still does boost stats for group of rates, and I didn't realize this. So I just now put it in Cecile's inventory. Even though it's not probably not the best use of throwing it in somewhere. But I don't know, like, if it does boost stats, how much does it boost? I mean, I could probably look that up myself, but... It's very good. Oh, no. Suicide? Oh, a thief. Okay. Yeah, as soon as I got the Star Sphere, I benched it. The leader of the Aurorius Knights, Wolf, is here for your head. It's 20 across the board? Oh, I, re I wish I realized that. I would have given it to my units. I didn't know that. I thought we just kind of lost the buff, but... As long as we're here, we won't let you get to Payless. If you don't want to die, run back to your country. So... Is all of the named characters recruitable, or is it just Roshea? You! Why are you invading other countries? Have you been blinded by ambition? So, oh, it's 30 stat boost across the board. Wow. That's... okay. I wish I was using that. Oh, Roshea. Okay. I am Roshea of the Aur Aurelian Knights. I don't want to fight, but I can't betray my companions. Please forgive me. But yeah, it seems like Roshea is recruitable, but I don't know about the others. The Coyotes are loyal to, to their Harden. Right. Oh, Navar might be in trouble. Come on, Navar, you gotta dodge stuff. Hmm. Let's see how this goes. I-I think we're getting a death. There it is. Navar, you're supposed to dodge things. You know, for the last few chapters, we've kind of been kind of... I won't say coasting, but... We've been having an easier, ch easier time during each of the chapters. Now we are at a point where... I'm just going to reset. Uh, now we are at a point where I, we are given a tricky map to deal with. And look, we have the Geosphere, so it's currently in the shield. We have the Star, the Light Sphere, and the Geosphere. Or were, were we given the Life one? I, I forget. Dark Sphere Harden is currently holding on to it. And the other one, I don't remember right now. Alright, uh... I may have to rearrange units to try to put some people farther away. But for right now... I've won by now. Oh, really? Never played a Fire Emblem game where you had to reset? Really? Uh -huh, I totally believe you. Yeah, I know. That is a, that is a cool touch. Also rigged? Oh, uh, yes. That is indeed rigged. 
Alright. So, I think a better idea is to just kind of hug this wall or something. I'll still probably have my Draco Knights over here. I want them out of range of uh, archers. But I think we need to do something where we're just kind of hugging something like this. Julian, you need to get over here. Kala, you just kind of get out of range. Fina, you get out of range too. The Star Sphere has a different, bo has another bonus as well. Jeez. Uh, we'll see. Do the other spheres also have bonuses? Or is it just, uh, the Star Sphere? Although the Geosphere does cause earthquakes. Can we get... Okay, Ogma, I want you here. Well, you're gonna have to go here. Cecile, I guess you're going here. Uh, Tiki. This is basically what I'm going to try to do on turn one. We'll see how this goes. I'll deal with the thief later. Okay, we got Wolf here. Yeah, yeah, off with my head. They could target Warren. I'm fine. I'm fine with that. Come on. Yeah, if we don't let you go to pay this, you, if you don't die, want to die, run away. You know, that sort of thing. I don't care. Yeah. We dodged because we were on a forest tile last time. So, uh, what's been going on, Juice, other than work? Or, yeah. Been playing stuff lately? Or did playing Pokemon Go? The Geosphere, when used, can cause earthquakes. Yeah, I remember that. When held, adjacent units get crit hit and crit bonus of 10%. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. That's cool, I didn't know that. I don't know who would need that right now, but I'm assuming I'm assuming the user also gets the accuracy bonus as well. Marth, no! Marth, you're not supposed to crit. You're not supposed to kill Rochea. Getting passport stuff in order. Trying to play some more fates. Pretty fun. Well, uh, it looks like. Uh, Roshea is dead. That looks like a reset to me. But we'll see if it actually is considered a death. Okay. Marth, you, you weren't supposed to get a crit. I mean, you're fine here. That's fine, but not on Rochea. At this point, some I don't. Someone's gonna die. I just don't know who. Yeah, 
And it's Marth. Okay. Too many people targeted Marth. Now we'll just it'll reset on some. Okay, different strategy. What to do? Alright, we're being attacked by way too many people. I think we need to just uh, spread out and let them come to me. I think that would be the better idea. I'll try to focus on these guys over here. I think that'll be best. Uh, let's see. Agma, with your two use armor slayer, how well can you do? broke, but that's okay. Level 6. You got strength and HP. Perfect. What's what's his stats at? Look at this. Look at this. His defense is already almost capped with two more to go. And his luck is at 14. That's ridiculous. Okay. Uh, how well does Warren do here? Let's just use the silver for a second. Silver is attack of 31, defense of 17. Uh, I can't do math right now. <laughs> Hold on. 31 minus 17. 14. So 28. Not enough to KO. Hmm. Not unless I crit. I will need Mark to go to the village at some point. But I think it'll be best if we do something like this. Go over here. Let's see who's the closest. There's someone like here. Alright, so I could put Rhodey right here. Put Agma right here. Tiki turned into dragon. Having my character split up and get out of the main attacking force is right now the plan. Uh, Lind. Mark being a menace ain't needed. Right, exactly. Go here. Lind, if you go to the left, you'll be attacked by... You'll be attacked by, like, three... All right, Lind. Time for you to survive. All right, over here. Uh, how well can Mark do with the rapier? Attack 29 minus 17. That would be 12. Not enough. So is this agreement? Uh, FE8 Sacred Stones isn't really connected to the Oversoul Hall series. Not even loosely. It's its own thing. It's not even, in, like, an agreement thing. Like, there's nothing connecting Sacred Stones to anything else other than, like, awakening or... And I, I say awakening in the sense where they'll just kind of bring back maps from that or, like, engage, you know? Like, other than stuff like that, it's really its own thing. Why? 21 minus 3. Uh, that would be 18... Close. Sacred Stones, it's kind of his own thing. It doesn't even have a sequel or a prequel. And I think it's the only one that's not really connected to anything. Well, actually, that's not true. You got Fates. Fates, Three Houses, although Three Hopes is technically is a sequel to it. Uh, or not. not. Three Hopes is not even really a sequel. It's kind of its own spin-off midquel alternate timeline sort of thing. And then engages engages in a weird spot. Actually, no. Now I think about it, no. 
Fates is not its own thing. It's connected to Awakening in some form. It would be funny if they didn't add the siblings and engage and they get a DLC to establish how disconnected they are. <laughs> yeah, because, like, every other Fire Emblem game is connected to at least a one other Fire Emblem game in some way. At least one other. That's the, that's the best way to describe it. Uh... Uh, okay, let's go ahead and go... Actually, Katria, how well can you do against this guy right here? 34... Now let's just go for it. I don't think they would really know anything about it, though. Like, how would they know that they're disconnected from everyone else? And you also gotta remember, like, some of the ones that are connected to each other are separated by, like, thousands of years sometimes. Although most of them are just, like, probably in their own world. Uh, let's go ahead and go... Let's go here. The silver? Sure. Let's get rid of the list up. We got a little bit of luck. That kind of sucks. But he's kept on strength and skill, so I guess that's something. Uh, we can have Warren. Okay, Mark. If we do this with the rapier, 29, not enough to KO. If I want to get rid of the general, let's go ahead and. Stuck on that one chicken in the DLC, so. You win in the first and second stage, but the third stage is your weakness for now. Oh, you're talking about uh, Dark Souls 3, right? You've been doing it without receiving damage. Ah, uh, so you just gotta continue to get good, Juice. Uh, popcorn Dog, not Juice. It's about continuing to get good. That's the answer. Yeah, you said the artist in Phase 2 is takes more damage, so it's easier to target that one. Right, let's see how well this does. Lind is currently not in a good spot. Oh my god. Lind, you're in danger. I think we might have to try to rearrange the units where Lind is in uh, a spot closer to the left. But replaced with like a. Uh... Well, Wolf's dead. But uh, swap out with someone with high movement. Third phase can't find the proper timing to attack her without blessing you with ice and fire. So. In cases like that, if you remember when I was playing Kingdom Hearts 1, uh, when I was doing some of the super bosses, I did look up strategies, and sometimes just seeing how some strategies are used gets you a better idea of what you need to do. But there's still the, you know, you still have to be able to pull it off. You know, if that makes sense. Well, Vitalis is dead. Lynn doesn't know how to hold back. She, get, she even got a strength boost. Well, Vilas, you're dead. Uh, they're all going to the left. Uh, okay, just a normal grunt. Okay, that, this one gets to live, I guess. Oh my god, Lind, you're in... Oh, we dodged? If you're using magic, the only strategy you get told is to spam and don't die. <laughs> of course. Lind for another crit. Other builds, you get told to use this or dodge... 
dodge it this way, then spam attack, but with magic. Spam until it's done. Hmm. So not much help online is there. And there it is. To be honest, it was kind of expected. Alright, that's a reset. We're gonna need to swap Lind out and put her in a spot where she's like completely safe or can get to the left side without being in range of like 10 enemies. And if I'm correct, Paolo was really close to the left side. So how about... Take Lind out. Do something like this. Uh... See, this game has a way to rearrange. You just can't do it on the... Choose the map screen, you know? Oh, no. I don't like this. I don't like that. Um... Well, I'm gonna have to make it work. Okay. Um... I guess Tiki's going this way. of a paladin, or two paladins. Three. Four. Damn. We'll see how well that goes. Uh, Paula, you head this way. I can get Sheeta safe. That's fine. Hell, I'm gonna have Sheeta go over here. Okay. On this side. Two away from where Rhodey is is complete. Is enough to fight one person. That's fine. Then Rhodey can go here. He's fine. Fina, just be safe. We put Lind right here. Okay, on this side, we still got Agma. Um, you know, I didn't even get the chance to see if these guys even want to move. I don't know, think about it. Okay. I can still let Ogma go ahead and get rid of one. Start working on the journals, I guess. Come on, Warren. Okay. Alright. Cecile, can you get the kill? I mean, I think so. I think you can. Well, with a crit, you definitely will. another general. Okay, good. 
I think I'll let Katria go ahead and take the pressure off a little bit. Uh, probably just the iron will be enough. Yeah, it will be enough. It's 10 damage. 30 with a crit. There we go. Level 6. No boosts. See? Because Katria's on... When she's on the wyvern, she is basically capped. Except for defenses. Alright. I think it might be best to try to... Uh, get rid of some of the pressure for Tiki. So I think we'll do that. Make it to where Tiki is not fighting as many units. Alright. Well, Wolf ain't gonna survive. You're fighting a Durgan. You're not getting out of this. Oh, only three damage. Okay, you've been weakened. Tiki's not fast enough. Level 10, luck and HP. We have... Violent going out to Tiki. Can't, can't, we can't move the text any faster. Not so. Yes, go ahead and fight the Durgans. Yes. I thought Tiki would be in more danger, because I remember her taking a lot of damage in book one, but no, she seems to have defenses. Wait, you're going the wrong way. Because I think that was Roshea. Also gonna fight again and get the crit. I like that second crit animation for the heroes, the Zontan Sukin, basically. Ah, you're going after Marth. Okay, that works. It gets rid of some pressure. For Tiki. And more freaking horse horsemen on the move. You know, it's weird. Whenever they move down the horsemen, because their uh, bows are large enough, I keep thinking their bows are like giant shields. They look like giant shields to me sometimes. Catri has got this. I think. There's there's four more of these Catri. You need to dodge some of them. Okay, that, that's not a good sign. You know what? I think I'm okay with this. Katria, I think I want you to not kill this guy. It'll be best if you just leave him alone. Oh, good. You dodged. That's that's a good start. Okay. Uh, ignore me, Katria. I see that. Um, go ahead, get your level. You get more HP. That's not going to help you right the second. Uh, okay. Uh, don't, don't kill this guy, Katria. Don't do that. Please don't. It's, it, it's not good for you. Oh, good, you dodge. Okay, go ahead. You know what? We'll live with that. <laughs> Actually, 
actually, if she gets hit now, I think she'll be okay. A 24% chance to hit Marth. Wow, that's sad. Actually, I think Katria could live. Yes! Katria got the two dar dodges she needed to survive. Katria, you are the champ right now. Hey, look, we made it past turn one. Where's Rochea? Yep, there you are. Who do I talk to you with? Is this Cecile? Well, she's on the other side of the map. And I don't have a way to rescue. I don't know who else to talk to you with. Other than Cecile. There's so many units here. Oh my god, okay. Something's gonna need to be done. Alright, um... Katra, you just need to... Uh, okay, hold on. I don't know how I want to handle this. Okay, Warren? How well can you do against this guy? Oh. You didn't double. Great. Ryan, how well do you do against this guy? You should be able to kill. With a crit, you can. Okay, level three, you got luck. Not what I need. Oh, I gotta be careful. Segur's here. There's so many units here. You know what? I definitely need to give someone over here physic. Someone needs physic. Um, Agma, I think it's okay for you to go over here and attack with your steel. Bye, wolf. Get out of here. This is your fault, Wolf. You didn't have to do this. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and let Tiki... ...here. Attack of 28. Violent! You will not survive this Durgan. Not when it's a crit, especially. Kill. There we go. Get your EXP. Okay. Marth, stand here. Stay in the forest. Katria, you get like in the mountains or something. You need to get away. Alright, on this side, uh. Hala can, like, guard the village. Wait, what does the thief have? Just an iron sword? Hala can guard the village. Alright, there's so many units here. Um... Okay. 34. You know, Sh Sheeta would actually be able to survive a single archer. But look at this, like, there's so many in range that she wouldn't be able to survive. Um... I think I just need to... Do this. that. 
Um... Well, this ain't gonna go well. So who's dying? Is it Paula? Or is it Sheeta? Yes, yeah, Sagar, I know. Why are you invading other countries? was super low on health. I should have healed him. That's my B. I didn't catch that. I should have healed him. Okay. Oh my god, the text! So slow! There it is. That's that. Even if he survived. It's not a good starting setup to begin with, anyway. I think we are gonna make sure to get Melissa on the first slot. I want her on the right side. So I want to do this. Then everyone else can... Try this. You know what? Because I just need to know if what I'm thinking of is correct. Because currently, this is what I'm assuming works. If this doesn't work, then uh, it's something else. Right now, I just want to know. Okay, so it's not Cecile. Because there's Rochea. We already know she's not going to live. When, uh, it, it was Navar. Navar died. However, I just tried putting Cecile here just to see if she could talk to Rochea. And no. No, she can't. So, that's not it. I think it's time... I, I think we should just reset, and uh, let's be honest here. She is not gonna make it. We could play it out. Do we want to play it out? Just to make sure? Because we can do that. Because who knows, maybe she'll dodge. You know what? Who knows? Maybe she'll dodge. I have the prompt ready to go, though. Uh, let's just... Ah, uh, no. Th th this is my B. This is my fault for assuming that Cecile would be able to talk to Rochea. I mean, look, they look very... Like, they look like they could be related. Why would I think otherwise? Let's play it out. <laughs> Let's make it fair. Who knows? She could dodge all of it. She could dodge this onslaught of attacks. You wouldn't know. You never know. You never know. Maybe she will survive this entire onslaught. I think we need to give her a chance. Let's just see how it goes. You know what? Let's just see. Come on, Rochea, you could dodge all of these attacks. All of them. Even though it's like a 40% chance for you to dodge. I want you to dodge every single attack. You 
You didn't dodge that one. That's not a good start. Okay. Bozo should have dodged. Yeah, Cecile should have dodged. That 40% chance was not that bad. She could have dodged. back just like Kenshiro. <laughs> just like Fist of the North Star. Oh, it's Roshea versus Cecile. I don't want to fight. Why must Reproids fight? Come on. Ah, there it is. Okay. All right, as expected. Okay. So, who needs to talk to Roshea then? Is it Marth? It's not Marth, is it? I mean, I could try to talk with Marth. I never had that opportunity. Do we try? You know what? Let me play the intro again. Can we refight this battle? I just want to see what they're trying to say right now. Uh, if we uh, don't fight Altea, Pyros will fall. Prince Mark wants to destroy Arcanea. I still don't believe I cannot believe Prince Marth would have such ambitions. What are you saying? That Emperor Hardin lied. It... It... Have you tried Marth 30% of the time? It's the Lord for some reason, even though it's hints at being someone else sometimes. Actually, I... yeah, I'm going to try Marth. You know what? Let's warp... Let's warp Marth and see if that's actually the case. You know what's funny? In this, in these games, a lot of the times it isn't Marth. In FE1, a lot of the times it was Sheeta that recruited. No, it's not Marth. See? It's not Marth. We might as well see if Marth can survive. We might as well, right? Just, did you say the Geosphere affects hit and evade? Because I could, like, rip someone here, give them the orb, and hope they dodge more. <laughs> Crit bonus, okay. Evade would have been dope, yeah. Exactly. You know, I'm thinking I'm I could take Tiki and just warp her to this fort. Have her turn into a Durgan, warp to the fort, see how it goes. That's a idea. Sword dude who's related to Nina. Is anyone actually related to Nina? Is that, uh, are you. Are you referring to Agma? I don't know how he would recruit Roshea. No. 
right here. There we go. Atria, you go here. Not Agma, the other dude. Blonde sword dude. He's not in my current team, right? Wait, what about Sirius? I completely forgot- I completely forget we have him. Let's see how well Marth, uh, does in this situation. How will Marth get out of this situation? The answer is, he's not. Honestly, Agma would have the best chance to be worked there. Oh, uh, Yuya and Yubello are twins. Oh, okay. Right. It w uh, Yumina and Yubello, right. Uh, they were... They were princes of... Like, hidden princes of... Who, what kingdom did they belong to? I forget now. Oh, by weakening the one archer, it ran to the four. I don't, I don't see either of them really, uh, not, not helping out, but... I don't see either of them talking to Roshea. Well. I already know Roshea is recruitable. I already know this. Because... Of... The achievements. Achievements. It's uh... okay. Yeah, they're from Grust. Which, yeah, we've already. Uh... No, we just did. We just took out Gra. Gra and Grust are different countries. So I already know Roche is recruitable. It's just how do we get him? God, Marth, you're like you're just such a champ right now. You you're not gonna make it farther though. At this point, I just want to see who dies. We will reset, but the question is, who's dying? And if no one dies, then we're resetting. We we are resetting, not uh, using the counter. Agma has the defense. I could warp him closer. I just let him be in range and deal with everything. Like, Agma and Tiki could handle a lot of this on their own. There it is. Alright. Marth did pretty well, though. But... Yeah, it, it was... If you look at that, that was the last move he needed to dodge. And then he would have actually survived the round. <laughs> okay. Marth, why did you die? Alright. Is there any other hint that I'm missing, Juice? For... Roshea. Because there doesn't really seem to be. Hmm. Let me look through here. Samso, George, Drog, Wendell, Bantu, Kane. So yeah, there's Yumina here. We could swap her out with Julian. 
and get a uh, rescue going. I'm gonna win. Mark, mark, mark before his inevitable loss. <laughs> yeah. Bellow, Gordon, Mathis. I think Mathis would talk, be able to talk to like some other characters. Luke, Castor, Aaron. I don't think Aaron. You think Sirius would probably talk to someone, don't you think? Rickard, Merrick, Elrin, Minerva, Zane, Abel, S. Shima, Samson, Astrum. Oh, you were talking about Astrum, weren't you, Hotborn Dog? Oh, I see. I missed that message. Astrum, also, what am I really? I don't mean Bolo, I just know they know each other in supper. Right. Um. You know what? This could be a Astrum, like, George and Astrum situation. They were working together under the same uh, banner. So that's why they, they were able to talk to each other. We could try Astrum. We could try bringing Astrum. See if we can rearrange in a way. Okay, so I would want Astrum close to here. So. Actually, hold on. If we just want to see if this even works in the first place. Let's just see if this works in the first place. I still want... I still want Lind at the end. Okay, let's just see if this works. Is there anything I haven't tried? Well, I could either go to the village, just warp march to the village and see how that goes and see what's there. Because he has to be warped. The other option is to just seize the castle and just make sure uh, Rocheas lives. That is another option. I still have those to try. No, this is just... Someone's dying. Someone's dying. Have the prompt ready to go. Astrum is mid in Heroes. He was decent, but they made his counter very common. I see. So now they need to... Uh, yeah, rework Astrum to make him better, or just make a new Astrum. That is more likely something that would happen. 
Man, I wish I could skip through these text boxes. Come on. Wow! She dodged! Good for Fina. This ain't gonna last. Okay. This is the annoying part. We have to deal with four sets of text boxes that we can't speed through. Come on. Okay, it's Roshea's turn. Next Fortnite season. It's looking like. Oh, they are doing Fantastic Four stuff for Fortnite. Oh, I'm guessing it's a tie in to Tony Stark. Not Tony Stark, just Robert Downey Jr. as Doctor Doom. Is that what it is? Alright, that's a reset. As expected. The hardest fight in any Fire Emblem game. The slow text boxes of the coyotes. I know, right? So... We... I don't know what to do. We could just try getting Mark to the village. Astrum is not the answer. Yeah, you know what? Let's just try that. Let's see what's in the village. Let's just see what's here. Because maybe that'll help. Just Marvel stuff? Okay. Maybe relating to Robert Downey Jr., but not directly. They're doing this because Disney did buy a massive stock of Fortnite. Exactly. They have a lot to promote. Okay, let's see. Oh, Prince Morth, it's good to see you. Huh? Aren't you King Arulis? What are you doing here? That's a good question. I came here to stop my country's army. Also, I must apologize to your highness. I believe Hardin's words and, and followed Arcanea, but I now realize my wrongs. Arcanean's Empress Nina secretly sent me a letter saying that Hardin isn't normal and is ill. My country will remain neutral, and its knights will return to Arulis. Ar Ar I hope you won't attack my men anymore. I understand, your highness. I don't want to fight with you. Please forgive me for taking so many of your knights' lives. Oh, you really are like what the rumors say. My body is frail, and I have no children. And even Hardin, my younger brother, has completely changed. Prince Mark, please protect Aurelis in my place. I will hand my whole country to you. I give this jewel to you as a gift. This is a magical jewel c containing the divine power of life. I spent a lot of gold to buy it from a traveling merchant. I believe it will be useful to you. Marf is the ideal prince, exactly. Uh, don't worry about Hardin. Since he is a knight, it is natural for him to die in battle. It is, that is his fate. Well, Prince Marth, I will go on ahead. I hope you will all be safe. Sell the jewel for 30k? Oh, it's the life sphere. Okay. That's something. Um, so what? Are they gonna leave? Uh, well, let's just assume they may fight. So I'm just gonna back everyone out. Right. Play it safe. Okay. Tiki turned into a Durgan. 
Pocket convenience, but hey, can't argue with the king. Can never argue with the king. Let's see. Agma go here. Put steel. Atria. Okay, let's see how this goes. Because it's interesting, there's no actual boss on this castle. It's just a, a generic general. That's the weird part. Alright, let's see how this goes. What happens? Yeah, more thieves. Draco Knights. That's new. And they are trying to leave. Okay. That helps. Okay. Well, wait, what happens to Roshea? Life Sphere is probably just to neutralize the Dark Sphere, I'm guessing. You have 14% chance to hit. Yeah, uh, good luck with that. Well, now that I know that Marth can just visit the village, and we can just warp him there, I can prepare for that. Yes, go after Agma. How are you supposed to get through that without uh, a warp to warp Marth over there and just talk to the king? That Remember, I was already having Marth go into the center and we were having trouble getting past turn one. How are you supposed to do that without a uh, warp? Well, I guess rescue could work too, but either way. are not in the best spots, but I saw a fan art on Twitter of original Mega Man characters playing golf. Maybe you want a Mega Man golf title. I mean, there's already Mega Man soccer. Why not have Mega Man golf? I have never played Mega Man soccer, by the way. I don't even know if it's any good. I have never played that game, so I don't know if it's any good, but I don't really have much interest to do that. So what's going on over here? I'm surprised Mega Man just never really made that many sports games, now that I think about it. It is, like, very close to Mario in a sense where they could definitely do more sports games. I mean, we have soccer. There was Battle and Chase, which was a racing game. And that's about it. Used to rent all the time, it was okay. Trick, you just pass the ball to your goalie. Every mo everyone moves out of your way. Oh, that's hilarious. Okay, so they're not running away. They're not retreating. They're not retreating. Okay. Then you use power kick. And it goes to the other goal and destroys the goalie. And it goes in. Oh, isn't that lame to just uh, cheese it that way? Okay, Katria, I guess, will send you up. So at this point, is this a case where I can't really get to Roshea? Do we just need to finish the chapter and he just automatically joins? Or is there something else? Level 10, skill speed, HP. Okay. 
I mean, this is already a good sign that they're not going to attack me. You cannot recruit anyone in this chapter. So, this is a leave everyone else alive sort of chapter. Okay. Okay, that works. I do know this, though. Uh, there is a secret shop somewhere in this chapter. I do know that. I just don't know where. How do I know this stuff? Uh, recruit Roshea. Secret shop. Yeah, that's the one problem with trying to get achievements like this as you're playing. You'll be spoiled on at least some aspect of something. Extra dragon whip, might as well. Skill, defense, and HP. We'll let her have that. So, if there is. No, there is a secret shop. Where would it be? Kind of feels like it would be somewhere in here. I'm not 100% sure. I am not worried about these guys that much. Two people need healing. Let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and let Ogma fight this one. Luckily, we got a crit. I kind of needed that. Six. And we got luck. Alright. I'll go ahead and let... No, we'll let Warren attack. We'll use the silver. Got a crit. Let's go, baby! Alright. Generals, I am out of range of the others. So I can go ahead and let Ryan stand here with the silver bow. And perfect. Now Cecile can grab the kill. Uh, probably Steel. Probably want to make sure. Do it. Kill him. All right. And I'll go ahead and heal Ryan. So yeah, being this chapter without warp. I, getting Marth all the way to the village without the use of warp or rescue sounds very hard. Like, I don't know how you're supposed to really do it. The cat's whining, that's why uh, I'm always growling. If Fortnite collabed with Mega Man, would I play Fortnite? No. <laughs> I still wouldn't play Fortnite. Just because it has Mega Man doesn't mean I'm going to play Fortnite. <laughs> I have, n I just have no interest in Fortnite in general.
it's just not really my type of game. Always look for fun. You don't think fun is the name, right? Okay. Uh, Melissa, you gotta dodge these 16%. I, I am just as scared as you are. Look at that 16% chance to, to hit. I, I'm so scared. Okay, good. Cheetah and Catria were in range. So, do we need to make sure the other group is completely safe? Or does it even matter what happens to them? The cat wants something. Yep, he's whining. Uh, once this turn ends, I'm gonna take a second and fill my water, figure out what the cat wants. I'm gonna figure out what the cat wants. Be right. Molly, you're fine. You don't need to growl. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. The cat just wanted outside. It was all good. Back on. Alright. So, is this a case, kind of like in the previous chapter, where if we want to recruit Roshea, we need to make sure all of these guys live? Do we need to make sure they all live? Or can we just kill them for EXP while they won't fight me. What are you doing, Molly? Still need to figure out where the... where the secret shop is. It's not the thief's den, is it? <laughs> Start heading back. Uh, Sheeta, how about you go ahead and uh, your silver lance is low. Might be confusing with new mystery, but you just keep him alive. 
I could pull I could pull this off. I'll pull up the chapter just to have it on me, but I'm not gonna look at anything yet. Well, if he, if he just needs to live, he's currently, he's current, current, where is he? Did they leave? Do they actually retreat? Did I miss that? There's violence here, Segu's here. Oh, do they actually? Oh, there's Wolf. Wait, where's Roshea? Where'd he go? Violent? Or, or is... Did Roshea leave? Did he retreat? I guess he did. Okay. Um, I need to do something about these generals. I could probably let Tiki get in range. They do retreat, okay. So, it just seems... So, I think we just need to make sure they leave. Fragments combined to in chapter 14 to form the star sphere, which grants plus two bonus to all of the whole of stats. But that's a uh, new mystery, it doesn't specify mystery of the emblem, but either way, uh, doing so the new star sphere combines the effects of all the greater shards into one, providing stat boost to all the stats and windows. So it's just a combined total of everything, and once you minus everything out, it's like what a 30. Huh, anyway. Uh, I'm gonna pull up the chapter itself. We are on chapter 18. I have it pulled up, but I haven't, uh, looked at anything. Not yet. Let's see. Go ahead and... Okay. Ryan can go ahead and get rid of the other ballista. He's out of range. Number three, speed, weapon level, and HP. Okay. I guess I could go ahead and... Ogma. Maybe I should have given him the full armor slayer thing. Instead of the one that just has two uses. Okay, wait a minute. You have a defense of 14. Fourteen. Eleven? She would survive all three hits. If she gets attacked three times, she survives all of them. Unless she kills one, she's only getting attacked by two anyway. She'll be fine. Tiki's fine. But I'm definitely gonna want Tiki to go up here and help out. Uh, if I have Katria go here and fight with the silver, what are we looking at? 34, 16, 18. 
Uh, we're like... I was gonna say one point in strength off, but no, we're capped. We can't KO. Hmm. Well... Let's see. Attack of 26. Minus 15. Fina's here. She is here. I'm letting Paula just gain experience over there. Okay, so... Oh, there it is. Okay. Wait, one person escaped. But only one. Why? escaping. Tiki dodged by doing nothing. She just stood there menacingly. Okay. Come on, Tiki. You can dodge again. No. Okay. No crit either. That's fine. I think I need to send Tiki up there with the other dragons. They're really targeting Sheeta. This might be bad. Okay, good. We dodged. Gotta dodge. She's gotta dodge. Like two more attacks. That's not a good sign. Alright. change. Sheeta died, she got attacked by too many things. But now that we know that we need to get marked to the village and all of our troubles end, we're doing that right now. And as soon as I get to the village, the Draco Knights are on the move, I'm gonna just have... Uh, I'm just gonna have Tiki in range of a lot of things and just go nuts. Be the dragon she was born to be. Alright. Let's get the life orb. The life, the life sphere. All those enemies will just never attack me. Then we gotta just make sure they're safe from the Draco Knights. So much text that I can't skip. There we go. Now they leave. Tiki, honestly. Yeah, not much. 
much I can do. I almost want Tiki up here. Well. I may rearrange so Tiki will be closer. Okay. Now that I know, like, I could just have units back up. She'll, unless she kills someone, she's only getting attacked by one, so she'll be fine. Uh, Katri has to go here. I'll let Agma defend. Paula, you can safely go here. Everyone else can basically just head to the right. Your stats. Yeah, your strength stat is awful. That's why she was having trouble. But her defense is, like, nearly capped. But the problem is her HP is... Well, 30's not bad. 30's not bad. It's no nearly 40, but it's not bad. Everyone can just head to the right. Should work out fine. Yeah, they're all gonna try to leave now. Do they have to stand on the square and then next turn they can leave? They have to go into the square that's north of the fort, but they can't leave. They have to wait there, and then at the beginning of next turn, they can leave. I, I think that's right. Yeah. All right, Agma, do your thing. Go ahead and dodge. Magma, you're the best. Right, I should have given him the armor slayer. Dang it. I overlook some cru I overlook crucial details. That would make this go a lot better. That's a lot of damage. 10, strength, speed, and HP. That's great. Oh, Catrio was in range. Okay. That's fine. Another person to distract. Okay. I could give that to uh, Cecile. Agma, continue to distract. Very slowly. Ah, uh, seven damage. Agma was not a fan of getting hit. He doesn't take that too lightly. Level six, defense. I love it. All right, all the healing. send Tiki forward to deal with the generals. But let's be honest. She needs to help with the Draco Knights. I think that takes priority. Okay. Mark, you could just start heading back. Hello, I'll, I'll let you get three kills. Who knows? If she caps out, we'll promote her. Because we have spare... Uh, dragon whips.
strength, skill, luck, weapon level, and HP. All some all good stats. She has more. Paula has way more strength than she does. <laughs> I knew I should have kept Paula. I kept Sheeta because I was thinking this was like FE1. Where Sheeta was really used to recruit so many units. Actually, I kind of want to heal her. Uh, we'll just do this. It's not that I don't want Paula to fight. Okay, hold on. I want to heal Tiki. I want to make sure she's at full health. Okay. Now let's go ahead and send her up here. She's in range of both. Take that. Um, I guess I'll go ahead and let Ogma use his armor slayer on this one. Yes, dodge Ogma. Get the crit. Next up, uh, we could probably get Lin to help out. Who wants to seal to grab this kill? Of course she gets a crit. Of course she does. She needs a little bit more EXP. I could dance her. Oh. There may be a way for me to give her another kill. Come on, Brody, let's see what you can do. Is there a way for me to weaken with Warren? If I use... Let's just say the Iron Bow. 24. 24 minus 17. That's only 7. 14 damage. Actually, that works out fine. If I want to give the kill to Seal for more EXP... There we go. Because now I could take Fina. Have her dance. Okay. And now Cecile goes ahead and gets the KO. She might need, like, one more kill after this. You know, with crits, I probably didn't need to weaken. Uh, she just needs to get in one more fight. She doesn't even need to win. Okay, I can lure one over. Martha's already moved. Lind, go here. I guess we'll let Navar stand here in range. Yeah, he's all good. Keep Sheeta where you're at. Julian, I guess you'll stay here. Is that it? That's it. Oh no, more thieves! More Draco Knights!
Yeah, that one left. Oh, okay. I see how it goes. They have to wait on that square, and then at the beginning of next turn, they can leave. It takes two turns for a unit to leave. That's kind of annoying. but we weakened. Although, we got healers here still. Oh no, you're attacking Cecile with rocks that had a 14% chance to hit. Alright, Tiki, let's see what you could do. Twelve damage, yeah. You may one hit KO, but... That's a lot of damage. Oh, Cecile was in range. Uh, I think we'll survive. You gotta head out? Well, have a good day, Juice. Oh, by the way, before you leave, do you think you could give me a hint on where the... Strength and speed. On where the uh, secret shop is. Because if I don't hear anything, I'm gonna just look it up. I also, I guess another question. I guess one more question, too. Do I need to wait around for everyone to leave? Or can I seize the throne before I do that? Before, uh, before that happens. So again, 26. Defense. Yeah, again, 12. I could take two hits. I could be in range of two. Let's see how I want to do this. I currently want... I think I want Warren to... or Ryan to do this. Now if I don't hear anything, I'm just gonna look things up. Speed weapon level. Can Cecile get in range of one? She already is. Hmm. Okay, I don't want to get too close. That's part of the problem. Let's see. I could back out, heal, dance, and then send her back up, but... I might take too many turns. Let's see. You know what? Warren, let's just have you weaken. Or you know, get the crit, that looks sick. I'm okay with that. Okay. I could have someone move one square forward. Just have the steel equipped. I'm having the seal out of range. Uh, let's go ahead and use the Knight's Crest. Strength plus two, skill plus two, speed plus one, defense plus two, resistance up by six, mobility by one. That helps, yeah. That helps. Now you can fight. Now you almost just need HP. Okay. Um. Yeah, I think I want... 
Okay, hold on. Your attack is 26. It's not, not that great. Uh, you go ahead and get your kill. There we go. We'll let Paula have the have these. Okay. Um I can have Tiki right here. Can we heal with Lind? Yes. But if I do that, units are going to be in range. Hmm. Yeah, I need to be careful. Okay, hold on. Lind, go ahead and heal. Can't risk Tiki getting attacked too much. Okay. There's way too many Draco Knights for her to deal with. Okay. Currently, Ryan's in range. He'll probably get attacked by one. Wait a minute, hold on. She can survive three hits. I can currently protect Ryan from one. Yeah, we could do that. One of them will probably just attack Ryan. And that will probably work out fine, honestly. Let's just hope it works out. I'm betting one of them will attack Ryan. Julian, you can just stay there for now. Keep moving, Mark. Alright, we have Ogma in range. Let's see how it goes. Okay, that's good. One at a time. One at a time, they leave. Okay. Take it slow. We'll, we're waiting for you. Six damage. Yes, the crit. Thank you, Agma. Seven, strength, resistance, and HP. Warren's getting attacked by a rock. Four damage. It was a big rock. Right. Ryan's getting attacked. Actually, he'll get attacked by two. Oh no, I made mistakes. Mistakes were made. Ryan, you gotta dodge one. Always take him one hit KO these guys. It's the last one that's gonna target Ryan. HP. Okay, Ryan, do me a favor. 
Take that 57% and dodge. Oh, of course you didn't. Okay. Okay. We're getting close. I can feel it. I can feel... I can feel it. We are close. I'm figuring this out. Okay. First things first. Let's make sure Agma has the full armor slayer to work with. Because we have... Oh, we basically have... We have a lot more than I thought. Yeah, we can grab that one. A lot more than I thought. Alright. Oh, right! I want to take you closer, actually. I, want, I actually want Tiki up here. That way she's close. Although, with Ogma having, like, the full set, it might not be necessary. Oh, wow. I didn't realize Julian was all the way over here. Okay, well... I was gonna say I could have Tiki start attacking, but that's not gonna work. I, it will be best if Tiki just goes here, turns into a Durgan, and just be, be in range. to the village. Okay. Talk to the king. Get through all these texts. Yes, you are regretful to this entire situation. Why don't you give me the life sphere and then we'll talk about it. Come on. Yeah, I know you bought it off a traveling merchant. But I need you to tell you men to leave. Agma's still in range. Alright, that works out. Honestly, I could probably just leave it more or less like that. Cheetah and Katria can kind of head up here. Everyone else just kind of gets close. Let me look at Tiki first. Her speed is six. No wonder she's not really doubling. Although, when she's a dragon, is her attack speed just always at zero? Is that just always going to be the case? Does she even have the chance to double? As a dragon, she might not. This all just gets so much closer. pull something up if uh, once I finally am able to seize the castle sort of thing. That's when I'll start looking at it. Down. Alright. I got prepared for the Draco Knights. I wonder how 
how long they're actually going to keep spawning. You know, it wouldn't be a problem if there was like three of them, but no. They like, they spawn four, and that becomes an issue. I can't believe Ryan got hit by a rock. How dare you? How dare you hit Ryan? Alright, Tiki, time to do your job and weaken these guys. take 11 damage, but you can do your job and weaken them. And 10, strength, speed, luck, HP. Come on, Tiki. I could use a crit. Come on. Time to crit. Crit time? No crits. Dang it, Tiki. Oh well. I wonder if I should have Ogma in Tiki spot with the Armor Slayer. He has the defense. He could probably survive, <laughs> like, all of these generals. Well, Tiki needs healing. No crits. I'm surprised. And watch them all get healed. Back to, like, full health. I need to get up there, but I need your heels. Okay, let's see. Mark, you head this way. Paula, go ahead and grab this kill. Go ahead and train. Defense HP. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Alright. Your attack is 25 minus 18. Yeah, Augment can totally just get in range with the Armor Slayer and just go to town. Who cares if he gets hit? He should be able to handle the rest. Agamemnon's just that good. Luck in HP. Right. Well, if I want to make this work, I want to heal Tiki. Let's get Julian out of the way. I gotta get rid of three generals. I gotta heal Tiki and have Tiki head up to the Draco Knights. Okay. Lind, go here. Yes, Lind, get that crit. Let's go ahead and mend. It's mend tiki. Get back to full HP, Tiki. You need it. Perfect. Okay. Tiki heads north. Range of these two. You're all at full health. Yeah. Okay. Ryan, go ahead and weaken one or kill. I don't care. Yeah, that's fine. Level three weapon level up. Not needed. Oh, 
Oh yeah, I remember, I have that Act Again staff. That's a broken one. But I want, it only has three uses, I want to save that. take a little while for them to leave. Okay, go after Tiki. Oh, wait, no, first we gotta have you go after Ogma. Oh, a, a pitiful 7 HP of damage. Ogma can take out the other three and still survive even if he got hit. Although it would be nice if he dodges. Oh yeah, he would survive. But I wouldn't mind if he played it safe. And we got level 7, luck and HP. Ballista's attacking Ryan. The other Ballista is attacking Ryan. Got the hit. Okay. Alright, target Tiki. You got this, Tiki. Ah, uh, Tiki dodged. And got the crit. One more. Okay, Tiki, let's see what you can do. It would be cool if you could dodge again, but that's not likely. Yeah, I figured. But we got the crit. Or not the crit, we got the crit. Level 11, speed, luck, and HP. At this point, I want attack, defense, and HP for her. So I don't think speed's gonna matter. Okay. I'm gonna let Kala go ahead and get her kill. I almost ended the entire turn because of misclicks, but I caught it. Keep moving. Again, I might have Tiki back out so she can heal. And then dance her back up. Let's see. This guy's in a weird spot. I need Tiki to at least be on this mountain tile right here. Well, let's equip. Oh, the. No, that won't matter. Let's just heal. Okay, good. Let's see. I gotta be careful. So, uh, this, 
this guy's in a weird spot now. I think I... No. Honestly, Agma might need healing. Because of the Straco Knight. It's in that awkward spot. I can't afford to dance. No, I can't. I could have Katria go and fight. Attack of 34 minus 16. Not enough. There's nothing I could do. Okay. I think it might be best to have Katria stand here and just wait. Keep Sheeta where she is currently at. Well, she could get attacked by two. But she has the defense. She should survive two hits. She can stay where you're at. Alright, over here. I'm just gonna have Ryan back out. back out to just heal him up. Because I wanted to get close to the ballistas. Or not the ballistas, the other generals. Okay, good. I could get Martha in range. He has a Worm Slayer. Let's see how it comes. Worm Slayer, I don't have that many. Alright, Polly got her kill. Alright, let's see how it goes. I also don't know if I'd need to make sure they're protected. That's also part of the problem. She, uh, Melissa should be fine. Yeah, 16% chance to even hit Melissa? I'm not worried. can target Shiva. Good, she dodged. Oh, I should have had the silver equipped. We even had two crits out of that. You're attacking Tiki. That's an interesting choice. You have the ability to attack Katria. But you went after Tiki. Okay. You're going after Tiki as well. But Tiki can just survive three hits. And the crit. That works. Okay. Level 12. Strength, speed, resistance, and HP. I'll take it. The last one is going after Sheeta. Right. Sheeta dodged. We lucked out. No crits. I can make this work. Only one Draco Knight up there. Down here, yeah, I want to make sure this general gets KO'd. Okay. Alright, 
Ryan. Grab your K out. Like a 30. Yeah, you're fine. You're fine. Maybe I should have targeted the other one. Oh well. Worked out. Okay. Warren. Go ahead and attack the other one. One more. You got this. Perfect. Okay. She did manage to dodge. And I want Tiki fully healed. Let's go ahead and use a men's staff on her. Distance. Deal 50 damage. Perfect. Okay. That's all of them currently. No, no, no. I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna heal him. He doesn't need to stand on the fort. Oops. Okay, Agma, you got this. You have this covered. Take ten years for him to come to you, but you got it covered. Get you. Oh, that, no crit. Oh well, that's fine. The other one in range? Yes, he is. All right, Agma's done the bulk. Let's see. Oh, we dodge, and we get the crit. Agma's done his job. There we go. Cecile's being attacked, but I want her to get the. Get this EXP for a little bit. No other Draco Knight showed up. So is that it? Actually, we could probably just use the iron. Not a one-hit KO, but no reason to actually use up my stronger stuff. Just passively heal. Okay. Paula, you were supposed to get this KO. They won't attack Paula because they're too weak. Why bother? Tiki just get up here, just in case. Other than that... I'm just ending turn, let's see. Yeah, more of the thieves. That's it. No other enemies. Okay. We are at the point where Marth can basically go to 
uh, seize the castle. There doesn't seem to be any other reinforcements. There's only a few more enemies to actually kill. So the question is... Where's the secret shop? And where's the... And do... Does everyone need to escape? Let me look. Skill, speed, weapon level, defense, and HP. Good for Paula. So wait. Yeah, I, I think it is that. Okay, I need... I just need one person to go there. I guess it'll be Sheeta. Alright, Sheeta. Next turn. Take your hand back. Uh, Marth will let you go this way. Uh, she's gonna promote next turn. I guess I'll. It doesn't matter who now. Actually, you know what? Let's just feed it all to Paula. It's not gonna hurt anything. And I needed another unit anyway. I think. So we'll let Paula have all these kills. It's not hurting anything. Okay. So it sounds like it's right here. I was right! I thought it was here. What do we get? Promotion items. I don't need the Knight's Crest, don't need Hero's Crest, don't need Guiding Ring. Because uh, I'm not really using Ubellum or Merrick or anything. Dragon's Whip. I actually think I actually have all the Dragon's Whips I would want. Orange Bolts? No. We don't need to buy anything. But we found it. That's all that matters. Trade it back. Alright. Now we'll just let Paula have all this. And while I'm here, uh, let me look up my strategy. I'm not seeing anything. Hold on. Maybe if I just read the strategies. Get an answer. Here. Marth can go ahead and like stand here. We'll have him stand here. Cecile will back out and we shall promote. Strength, skill, speed, defense, resistance by uh, six, and mobility. Yep. All right. Well, if I'm going to let Paula have these KOs... Uh... Warp to the village, shoot him, just gonna bow, dance mark, and have someone else warp him besides the boss. No, we don't need that. Starting from turn two, the people spawn out three for seven turns. I've been working on it. Use this opportunity to train your wicked units and doing doing that. A few Draco Knights will also spawn from the northeast of the map. In the original, there's only a few of them. Once they stop spawning, it's safe to assault. Yeah. 
Level 17, Strength, Skill, Speed, Weapon Level, Defense, Resistance, and HP. Might as well dance. In the remake, try to ignore the fighting the wolf guard as much as possible so you can recruit them later on. Hmm. Uh, the village to the southwest contains a life sphere and signals the retreat for the horsemen and paladins to the north, allowing you to spare the wolf guard units for recruitment later. You can kill the generic units with them, however, however, with no consequence. It's kind of a weird sentence, but it seems like as long as they live, as long as Sedgar lives, Vaiden lives, and Wolf lives, I think that's all that matters. I don't know if they actually... It doesn't seem like they actually need to escape. But at this point, we're just gonna let Paula have these KOs. So I'm, I'm just gonna keep this going. There's something about when the thieves end? It just says for several turns. It doesn't say for how long. What is this side anyway? What turn are we on anyway? Nine? Okay. Yep, they just need to escape. Well, they don't need to. We're just gonna let them. As long as Paula has stuff to take down, we're just gonna let it happen. Weapon level, resistance, and HP. Man, the Star Sphere is really boosting my growths. More thieves. Yeah, it's kind of a good thing I didn't really use the arena that much on the, oh, what was it, chapter 15 or so, 16? Because the later chapters after that still give you a lot of weak enemies to easily kill for 40 EXP. Like this is it. Okay, so it looks like it's uh so starting at two turn two they spawn. It's like turn twelve. Or at the end of turn eleven. So like ten turns they'll spawn. It's reading if you wait. No? Hold on, let me. Inside the cave, there's an item, but it, that could just be uh, remake only. That might just be remake. Okay. Yeah, that's probably just be for remake. Okay. Paula, we're still gonna give you the rest of the kills, and then we'll seize the throne. If they leave, they leave. Okay. 
attack at 22. Yeah, we should be fine. Level 19, strength, skill, speed, weapon level, defense, and HP. It said there's an arm scroll in the cave, but arm scroll, that sounds like a remake. I thought it would be like a manual or something, but no. Okay, she's not going to get to level 20. She's gonna get dang close. Yeah, I'm gonna have her. I'm gonna let her have the final kill. And then we'll seize the throne. I read nothing about. They had to retreat. Oh. Hmm. It's just the named units. Do we want to play it safe? I wasn't... There's nothing saying they had to retreat. Just don't kill them. It says, in the remake, try to ignore fighting them to recruit them later, but that's different than letting them retreat. I don't know what to do. You know what? Let's just... Let's just wait. Yeah, we'll let them leave. I don't know if it actually matters. that. Let's go seize the castle. Chagin, seems we finally crossed the peak. Palis is it far from here. Yes, if we go down here, we'll, we will reach the capital of Palis in an instant. Also, your highness, I just received news of the attempted coup in Palis. The knights and civilians who oppose Hardin's actions rebelled against him. It seems their leader was Lady Mida, or Medea. What? Medea? What happened? Unfortunately, Lady Medea was defeated. and was captured. Each day, many people are executed. It is only a matter of time before Lady Medea shares the same fate. Damn. Pardon. I can't believe that he would do that. Alright. Let's go and rescue Medea. We must hurry to Palis and end this once and for all. Jagan, let's go. Alright. I think... We are going to give this next chapter, I think I only have time for one attempt. So let's give it a shot. <clears throat> it is the second month of the year three in the Imperial Calendar. Arcanea's holy capital of Palis is currently in the middle of a mysterious silence. There was a rebellion in Arcanea, led by the Paladin Medea which resulted in many skilled knights being defeated. The capture and capture. Even so, Arcanea still had double Altea's army strength to arm the streets of Palis with. It has almost been a whole year since the Grustian expedition. Okay. Now the last decisive battle, which, was de which will decide the fate the two countries is finally about to begin. Now we're gonna give this one attempt. Unless I keep losing turn one, you know. Oh, this chapter, okay. So let's take a look. What do we got? So Neri? Okay. Anything that's notable. Draco shield, okay. 
fire ballista. Swarm. More fire ballistas. I am tempted to do what I did in book one and just warp Tiki. But all these guys are very strong. And there's a lot of people here. I'm not seeing anything too special. Like, I'm thinking warp Tiki here and just let her go nuts. We'll see, like, see how well it goes, but there's a lot of paladins, so I don't think it would work that well. The thieves are nothing special. It's just one village, and Marth can easily get there. There is an arena. Don't think I need it. I actually don't think anyone needs the arena. No one on this team. Paula just needs like one kill. And everyone else is promoted. Or at least everyone else that I care about. Yeah. Okay. Let's see how this goes. I should have expected no less from Arcanea. They have such a powerful army. We won't be able to get close so easily. Morgan is gambling everything on this one battle, and he appears to have gathered the entire army of Arcanea here. If any knights with a conscience already joined the coup have nearly all been executed. All that remains are just weak mercenaries, so you don't need to fear them. Right now, many hearts have already been have already swayed from Harden. And the citizens welcome us as their liberation army. They should give us confidence like no other. Anyway, this is the last battle. Well, not really, but still a couple more chapters. Please take care while advancing. I understand. Let's go, Jagan. I'm worried about Medea. One thing, I need to buy stuff. That's more what it means, I think. I am actually tempted to try that. You know what? I'm going to do that. It might be a mistake to use up the warp staff, but... Let's give it a shot. Actually, you know what? I don't need the warp staff. No, I don't need to do that. I could just transform and dance. Tiki could fly up. It's just if I wanted her to be on the... Fortress, that would have been a different story. Alright, Tiki. Uh, let's have you get started. Right. I can let Shia. Yeah, I guess we'll let Shia. Katria goes over here. Is that where I want? Yeah, she's far away enough. Catria can get rid of the ballista. Let's just use the iron. Wow. One point strength off. And she's capped. And a six. Nothing. Oh well. Alright. I want Paula to head to the right, because I want her to get to the thieves. Train off those. We're taking a risk. Let's just use the seal. Give it a swarm. just kind of here. That's kind of the case for Julian most of the time. He's just kind of here, but 
honestly, having a thief being able to just open chests and open doors, it's kind of nice. It's also one less unit to, like, not worry about training. But that's also the trade-off, isn't it? Yeah, I'm not training him, but that also means he's not a fighter. Even though in this game he totally could be. Totally make him a fighter, fighter with the Star Sphere. Just put your hide you in the corner right now. All right, let's see how this goes. All right, Tiki. Honestly, if you want a better chance of living, you don't kill it. Kill this guy. Hold on one. Thirteen. Speed and HP. Again, I don't think speed matters. Again, Tiki, if you want a chance to live, just don't... don't crit. That works. for Sheeta. Again, if she doesn't crit, we'll be fine. Well, even if she did crit, she's not killing, so that works out. There's just too many enemies up here. Okay. Oh no, nine damage. Oh wow, uh, I dodged. They must be effective against flying enemies. Yeah, ouch. Was this another swarm? Yeah. One damage, okay. Another swarm? Resistance. Oh my god. Okay. Catria, because you have no resistance. Alright, that was... We'll give it another attempt. Alright, the life stone is in the shield now. I caught a glimpse at it very quickly. Alright. So, Tiki did okay. But we don't want to go in guns a blazing. What does it look like there's a spot there? I know there isn't a secret shop here, though. Um. Okay. This is magic based. And the H flame is effective against flying units, okay. Again, this is kind of a situation where, like, I could warp, I could have Tiki rush in, but we are risking it if we do so. I do think it's a bad idea to send Katria and Sheeta up front. I do think that is a bad idea. Uh, I think... Oh, oops. No, no, we're re resetting that because I messed up. giving it another go because I messed up my move. It says the final battle, but we still got way more chapters. Harden is not even on the map. This is not the final battle. Alright, let's try that again. 
Tiki, just turn into a Durgan right now. There we go. Yeah, Tiki's able to put in some more. Everyone else, start moving. Dance. Okay. Tiki, go right ahead, and we'll target Ballista. I don't know what would be best, but, you know, we'll get rid of the ballista first. I mean, the crit was not necessary, but I, I, I approve, though. Sadly, if I just try to do any more those ballistas that actually hurt flying in these magic base, it's not a good idea, so we'll just let Tiki try to handle as much as she can. Hey, Rexy, how's it going? Currently on chapter 19. It says the final battle, but that is a lie. Because this isn't Harden. But we are at Arcanea, so. Yeah, what's going on, Rexy? I basically have a full team now. Uh, Paula's the only one that's, uh, not promoted, that I care about anyway, not strong enough, but she is one level off, and she just needs to get, like, one of these skills and she's all good to go. Other than that, you know, Julian's just kind of here to be a thief, we have Dancer to be the Dancer, but everyone else is promoted. See how well Tiki does and survives. Yeah, if I can get Tiki on four, she has more survivability. Speed and HP. So I'm in the process of a cosplay. Oh, who are you going to uh, cosplay as? Also, do you like make all the co uh, like all the outfits yourself, or do you just uh, get someone else to do it? fine. Took a little damage. Fina should survive this. Perfect. Yeah, we only took one damage out of this. Tiki dodged just by standing there menacingly. You like to do costumes yourself? Very nice! Probably works better in the long run. Are you, uh, I'm assuming you're going to some sort of convention to show it off, or are you just post it online? Turn two, Paula. You go like over here. Apparently, she can't fly over this. It's for Halloween. Ah, just getting that, getting that done ahead of time. That makes sense. How long does it take you to make like a full outfit? Obviously, depending on who you're going with, some stuff will take longer than others. I get that. Um, 
I'm gonna have Tiki continue to fight. I want her over here. That would be the best shot. So... But I could slowly get rid of some of these more annoying stuff. For everyone else. Yeah, who are you going as? Warren, you should be safe now. And you know what? Where's my health? Uh, strength of 13, strength of 15? Ah, uh, okay, so they're pretty close. I'm gonna go ahead... We're going to grab a physic out of storage. Wow, I actually didn't realize I had that many. Alright. Mark can get moving. Stand here. We can dance Lind. We can move. We're gonna have Lind move up here. I'm gonna go ahead and let her use Physic and heal up TP. Just keep her topped off. HP. Um, other than strength, that's pretty okay. I mean, she's capped on speed. So, yeah, that's not bad. Right. Melissa, honestly, she should probably just stand here and heal Fina. She's gonna do it. Good. Uh, you know what? Let's keep Julian where he's at. Let's see how this goes. Okay, you're running away to get healed. He's distracted for a while. favorite in Effie? Uh, when it comes to Fire Emblem, other than very specific games that might change things, I would say I tend to like mages. I tend to like, uh, I tend to like Cavs Paladins. I tend to like heroes. Uh, so mages, heroes, calves. 
And uh, in three houses, we have the grappler. I really like grapplers, so yeah. Kind of those four classes I tend to like. And obviously with mages, it doesn't necessarily have to be uh, like the on-foot ones. Like it could be like the horse mages like, uh, or the Pegasus fly or the flying mages in later games. But I, I just tend to like mages. tend to be the classes I tend to prefer. What about you, Rexy? Or your preferred job cla uh, classes to mess around with in epic games? Okay, we got rid of the thieves. I should try to feed Marth some kills, if possible. But Marth is actually doing okay. I should also just give him the Star Sphere. Mages are favorites of course. They carry all the battles and save you in difficult times. Beasts are... Oh yeah, Lagoos. The Lagoon type ones, the transformations. I do like them. But, like, they aren't necessarily always my favorite. I like them conceptually. Sometimes uh, a unit can be good, but they're not always the best in comparison to, say, a good mage. But I do like... I do like the transforming characters. Whether they're manikets or lagoos, like with the cats or the ravens. Uh, or, uh... Like in Awakening, you have the bunny, you have the wolves and the kitsunes and fates. And I tend to like them. Kind of. But I wouldn't put them with the four, but like the tier below, if that makes sense. Because usually for them, it's like very limited on what they can do. And they don't have too many options. Too, not many effective... There aren't really many things they can use effectively, if that makes sense. I did find it interesting that Three Houses didn't have a beast unit. That was an interesting choice. to go and do something. I think we should have her go here. Get rid of this guy with Swarm. Okay. That helps. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10... If I wanted to be completely safe, I have to get, like, right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten. Okay, so Fina just needs to hug this wall. Just to be safe. I'll also let Julian... Who's going to attack Tiki? Oh, you're going for a second turn. I'm surprised. I thought this guy would wait till he's at full health. Well, I guess uh, Dragon Riders. Wyvern Riders are also one of my faves to use. Why does she have a bigger arm than the other? That's a good question. I don't know why. And you think it's also kind of the wrong arm for It's also kind of the wrong arm to be larger, isn't it? 
She must have a gimped arm. Now she needs to back out. She needs to back out and get healed. Okay, Tiki's dead. Make sure you do that. Alright. So Tiki against Paladins is just too much for her. Not, you know, especially when you gotta consider everything else that she has to deal with. Okay, so Tiki was doing fine over here, but just one Paladin is bad enough. Granted, getting hit by other Ballistas is not helping. Maybe she just kind of needs to, you know, maybe kill one of the ones over here, and then work her way over this way? I don't know. It's hard. It's hard to tell. She can deal with an armor unit. It's a paladin. She has trouble getting rid of. Maybe it's just too much for her. I don't know. It's hard to say. Uh, sadly, I have a few things to do, so I can't really continue. Uh, yeah, I gotta get some things done. But I gotta wrap it up. Thanks for everyone who showed up. I'm doing these streams Monday through Friday at noon Pacific time. If you want to see the old streams that aren't on Twitch anymore, they're on YouTube at scottbot 64 Stream Archives. There is a link in the about page. Yeah, sorry, I have a few things to do I gotta take care of. Uh, tomorrow, working on this chapter. Oh, uh, might as well go through the achievements I got here. Come on. Let me refresh the page. Okay, let's see. Uh, we got... Complete Chapter 18. There wasn't that many for this uh, that we got. Uh, no, that's... For today, we got the Complete Chapter 18. We got... I think we... I think it's just this other one. Find the secret shop and get Chapter 18. I think that's all we got. Anyway. That's it. Have a good day. Later.